You see the Hall of Gardens again, and guess who's back? Brian's back from Sonora's, my local garden center. Hey, Brian. What's going on? I'm getting more dirt. This time, you're actually going to be on camera. Take a look. You can't see it, but you're actually on there. Cool. So I wanted to go here on top of those chips, okay. but those are the beds he built. Oh, oh. Go take a look at the beds. This is my youngest, Sarah, who just graduated high school. Gardening is so not her thing. <laughs> no, really not. But I do like flower anyway. And he's going to um, take that PVC in the bottom with some soaker hose through the bit, um, middle of it. So we can just um, clamp and he's already drilled it and we're going to put some super holes in it. And it's going to go in the bed, like the bed, like this at the base. Good, good. Yep. I've seen that on YouTube too. Mm. I did it. I did it in my bed and I have to heal. Yeah. I'm going to actually get to one camera this time. Okay. Um, um, dumping the dirt. Okay. So it's going to be a little loud, you guys, because this is a loud truck. Sarah, can you go close the door? I'll keep right, the. You want it right on the yep. Okay. I'll take the camera from you. We're going to switch off and you close the door to the van for me. But this is the two beds Mark built for the church. So people who are of limited abilities, like myself, um, because we have a pretty silver haired congregation for the most part, can also come sit and help in the garden. So, Brian is getting set up, and now he can really tell his wife he's gonna be on YouTube, so I'll be posting this today so she can see him. I will post this tonight when I get home. So I guess he had a screen on it to cover it because it's been raining off and off here. So he's pulling that back, and He's going to actually put it right here where these wood chips are that Sarah is showing you because that's kind of where we always put our work piles. And while we're waiting for him to back in, I'm going to say to you guys, like, share, subscribe, give us a positive comment, only positive please if you don't mind, and keep us motivated and inspired to keep it going on. Give us just a couple minutes. We can show you what we bought. Um, turn around. Um, so this is some more winter sowing. As you see, I've got tomatoes and peppers. So now I have places to put them. Because I told you, sorry about the umbrella shot. I had to straighten this out. Um, look at the plants, not me, Sarah. I told you guys I had needed more space, so he built me a couple more beds. I've got tomatoes mostly in there and peppers. And then I bought some bigger peppers. And I bought basil because I didn't get any out of mine because I forgot to plant it. But somewhere in here, come show them how much eggplant this plant has on it, Sarah. I wanted them to see that. We bought those because they were just full up of eggplants. So I got two like that um, because mine over at the community garden are very small. And then Sarah picked this. Um, what's this tomato? Come show them the tag, Sarah. I forget what this was. <sighs> But we got a bunch of different colors of peppers. And we got this. Um, Better boy. Hybrid. Hybrid tomato. tomato. Then we got a couple jalapenos. Yellow. Um, purple. And green bells. And I've got some borage over here. I know I told you guys not to plant it. Um, um, liberally. If you plant one borage, you'll have borage for the rest of your life. I promise you. And I'm going to do a taste test of these flowers for you. Everyone says they taste like cucumber to them. You want to try this, Sarah? Tell me what it tastes like. Ask them, Mom. I want to taste them. Okay, what? It's best for your cat fan. Okay. Tell me what the flower tastes like to you. <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't like it. Um, I don't even want that. It tastes a little citrusy and a little cucumbery to me, and she does not like citrus. That flower is called borage. It is edible. I'll finish yours. Or no, hold that. We'll have Brian taste it on camera and see what he thinks. 
Watch out, Sarah. Oh. All right. <laughs> what the funny? All right, so he's backing in. He's gonna put it right over there. And when Mark comes to work tonight or the next time he comes to work, he'll be able to work. He's just gonna, you hear, uh, excuse all the noise, but the truck does what it does. One of the neighbors is out watching us, Sarah. I think so. I wasn't paying attention. I'm supposed to be the rest So, get a chance to get to see all these hydraulics for all you boys who like tools and trucks and trains and stuff. Don't forget them girls. And girls. Whoever's into trucks and hydraulics, this shot is for you. The money shot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is half mushroom compost, half soil. So it'll be good, good soil for these two beds. I got one yard. My husband told me to get a full yard to fill these two up. I think I could have gone with half a yard. Oh, we had an ambulance go by. That's what you hear in the background. But, um, um, it's a full yard, and I think that'll fill both of these beds up nicely after he puts our, I was showing Brian, uh, even half and half, the mushroom compost still stinks, y'all, I'm telling you. This is something my husband came up with. We, you saw it, we put the, um, soaker hose in the bottom of the beds in the field. So he drilled these, and we're going to pull the soaker hose through these guys so that, um, the, um, when we go to dig, like we sliced in the beds in Olympia Fields and we sliced $50 hose up. So we don't plan to do that now. This is going to go through the bottom with soaker hose pulled through it. I don't know how we're going to pull it through, but we'll figure it out. And um, that way we won't slice it if ever we have to dig in this bed. Because those hoses are kind of pricey. Alrighty. Not big. Okay. Hi. Thank you, Brian. Oh, yeah. Didn't you want What's him that? to taste it? I need to borrow one of these. Okay. It didn't all come out. I don't oh, know. I got a shovel in my car. You want a shovel? Oh, yeah. If you got the shovel, that's Yeah, I got a shovel. Mr. Ryan? Oh. Do you want a taste of this? Sure. Just Thank you. The Thank, you. Thank you. Borage flour. I'm going to put it in my truck. No, do you want you to taste it? Oh, the borage taste? flour. Yes. What does it tell us what it tastes like? It tastes like, to me, I taste citrus and cucumber. Tastes like cucumber. Right. I thought so too. But yeah, I got a shovel over here. Hold it, look at it. Hold it. Okay. And on the side, either on the hand side, right there in front of that door. We're grabbing a shovel to get the rest of the soil. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize I'd left it running. Okay. 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 They hit the laundry you ever done, Mom. Yeah, it's true. Um, the last time we got two yards, this time we just got one because we didn't need as much, quite. So, this is what a yard of half mushroom compost and uh, half uh, soil still stinks, but not as bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it stinks. All right, so that's it until we get to filling up these beds and putting some plants in them. And I want to say to you guys, as always, happy gardening. Thank you for watching and blessings of bounty to you and yours. Until next time, goodbye. Hit that nose, hit him back, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, do me a favor, slide that towel that way. Slide it or you'll knock over my TV. Thank you. I can go right in that gray basket, it's fine. Thank you. You're still